The flu forecast is out and it is not good. The message is simple. You better get a flu shot and you better get it now. It's in good health today. We start there at 530. Just how bad will this year's flu season be? Well, it's a question no one can answer for sure, but experts say there are some ominous signs that have many really worried. We could be in for a very severe year. Here's a look at what scientists are so concerned about. Scientists trying to predict how bad our flu season might be first look to countries below the equator. In the United States, we draw a lot of data from South America uh, because they hit their winter before we do. The winter that just finished hitting Australia resulted in the worst flu season in that country's history, four times as many cases as the year before. We do see shifts in the amount of virus that's circulating at any one time. Really, the scientists are drawing from the entire globe and also looking at the strains that circulated here last year. The flu that circulated here last year ran from October to May, making it the longest flu season in a decade. The CDC estimates some 42 million people got sick. More than 61,000 people died from the flu. Health experts are encouraging everyone to get vaccinated. We recommend that everyone six months of age and older get it, and now and to the end of October is the best time to get it. A recent survey finds only about half of adults plan to get a flu shot, leaving the rest at greater risk. Even if they have no other problems, they can get really bad flu. They can get hospitalized. They can get really bad pneumonias. They can die. Anybody can die. Now, there are certain people who are even more at risk of being hospitalized, even more at risk of dying. And when you get your vaccination, you're protecting those individuals around you, those people who you come in contact with. Now, experts say the flu is notoriously difficult to predict, but stress, even normal flu seasons, typically result in tens of thousands of deaths.